Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For the cheapest coins anywhere, check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. Today, guys, we have the next episode of Pack and Play and the challenges for today. Give us all just getting some pretty big upgrades. Now, I do want to give a shout out to Jaden Mars for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. Turn notification bell on and comment down below. Noti Gang. Also, if you guys have not already checked out Underdog Fantasy, there's still NBA, MLB, there's March Madness coming up as well, MMA as well, so much to do on Underdog aside from the NFL, and if you guys check out Underdog Fantasy right now using code ZERK, they will double your first deposit up to $100, follow me over on Twitter for my picks, and if you guys sign up right now, you have this Tatum 0.5 point special for tonight. Now, I also need you guys down in the comment section, leave me two challenges to do in the next episode of Pack and Plug. The two challenges for today work very well together and also could be very good. Number one, if we manage to get 100 yards rushing in this game, we get two random reduxes. Those could be really good reduxes, or they could be really bad. Either which way, though, that's still really, really good. And the second challenge is if we get 100 yards rushing with one player, 100 yards receiving with one player, and 200 yards passing, which would be with Jalen Hurts here, uh, then we do also go ahead and get ourselves a random 96 overall. So pretty big. Honestly, these challenges today could be really big. There's a lot of good reduxes that would definitely make the team good. Also, don't forget, guys, if you missed the last episode, go check it out. You don't want to miss out on anything. Uh, but if you did miss the last episode, we actually are allowed now to go ahead and do playmaker packs instead of get a gold. Every two packs is a playmaker pack now instead of just getting uh, just one get a gold. Also, I will let you guys know, I'm actually recording this episode of Pack and Play here on Wednesday. I'm recording it on Wednesday. But I'm going to wait until Thursday, I believe actually Friday night rather, uh, to record me opening up the packs of this video. So don't worry, team of the year and everything, it's going to be in the game when you guys see the packs aspect of this video. I just have to do the gameplay today because I don't have time any other day this week to do the gameplay and then edit that up. So it's going to be nice and easy for me. But we did get a win in our last episode. We are 1-2 and two on this season. We need another win today. Let's get into this. All right, so hopefully we can get in here and not get a super tough matchup. Please, EA, give me someone decent. Okay, that's my top three. I'm just hoping just nothing crazy. Please. Oh, man. If he has Patrick Willis on his team... I know his team is crazy. All right, so he has Patrick Willis. That's obviously a bad sign for me. His receivers look pretty decent. He has Devin Hester and DK Metcalf, Heath Miller at tight end, Lamar at QB. Actually, not that bad, to be completely honest. I will take going against Lamar, and he has CJ 2K, so could be a little bit worse. Also, guys, I now do have an inside stuff, finally have an inside stuff with Howie Long, so that is really going to help us out here, and Luke Keekley does have a potential upgrade that I could get as we get a sack. But Luke Keekley does have a potential upgrade with the Ultimate Legend, so if we're able to get like a pick six or like an interception and a lot of tackles or maybe two interceptions, then I think they'll qualify for the upgrade as we get a hit on him. Let's go. All right, so this is going great. Fourth down and 16 coming up, though. Let's see if we can get a stop. If we can get a stop first possession. That would be absolutely amazing. Let's go. That's a turnover. That's a pack. And my opponent just quit the game. All right, we'll take the win, but that's a win, a rage quit, and a blowout for zero points. That's four packs. All right, so we're off to a great start. We already have four packs. Obviously, we are going to hop into another game there, but four packs in the first game, that's pretty big. And we also get this strategy card right here, which we actually might be able to use that. All right, so we're already at four packs. We got one for the turnover, one for the win, the rage quit, and for holding him to zero points. Hopping into our second game, though, here, I'm hoping we can get a better... Uh, Okay, Super Bowl theme team more than likely. Charvarius Warb heard Adderley uh, and also Ray Lewis. So, okay, still not great. All right, so this guy, we'll see exactly how this is going to go, but definitely have to try to run the football a little bit. Going to throw this RPO out there to Justin Jefferson, though, which, by the way, we can earn Jefferson an upgrade. Those of you guys that don't know, Justin Jefferson does have the new competitive pass card, which. I would be able to actually get off the auction house because, you know, there is an auctionable version of him as I had people open and I don't know why I didn't throw it. I did actually have people open there and I just didn't throw it. I don't know really what I was doing, but second and 20, let's see if we can hit somebody open here as we are going to have the flats wide open to Jerry Rice dive. 
I don't think he should have tackled me. Probably gonna look to go to Justin Jefferson here if he's gonna be open or Jerry Rice. And Jerry's gonna be open there. Easy little first down. We'll take that. Now, I'm not certain, but Vernon Davis might have been open on that play. I have no clue for sure, but something tells me that Vernon was open there. But we gotta try to get this 100 rushing yards. Second down and two coming up, though. Let's run a little read option here. We're gonna hand this off to Bijan got the first now jerry rice and justin jefferson both already have a couple catches here and are working on their yards as we do have Bijan robinson open in the flats here hit a little juke do not fumble i can really target either of them at this point to try to be like the 100 yard receiver as here once again we're going to try to get these 100 rushing yards first though with Bijan. Not able to cut it quick enough. All right, third down and 12 coming up here. We are, of course, going to throw the football, and we're going to have Jefferson. Jefferson, please get the catch. Thank you. Those knockouts, man, they scare me. Now, this guy's run defense is actually pretty solid, so for us to get the 100 rushing yards, we are going to need to break a big run. Like, it's going to be kind of tough, but we'll see what we can do. First and goal, though, coming up. I think we can get it to Bijan. I dropped it. Gotta come down with that, man. Have to come down with that. At the three-yard line, though, we are gonna try to run it here. Again, this guy's run D's pretty good. Yeah. O-line versus D-line advantage definitely goes to him. Third down and goal coming up here. Maybe I can get this quickly to Vernon, potentially? Maybe. Ah, uh, nope. That's not gonna be open. Gonna try to take off here. That also didn't work out. All right, fourth and goal coming up. We gotta fire something in here, man. It's gotta be a dot, Bijan. He dropped it. And yes, I did possession catch that. I promise you, I was possessioning uh, on that catch right there. And unfortunately, so could not come down with it. Doug Williams, he's gonna run an RPO. Why is Cam Chancellor out here? Really? Let me get a fumble. Yes, please recover. Thank you, Luke Keekley with the recovery. Of everybody that could possibly just do that, that is the number one person that we needed to do that. That is literally the number one person that we needed to get that right there. So that is absolutely massive. Keekly with the scoop and score. Now my question is, does that allow Keekly to go? Oh, yes, Hester just wide open. Just sitting absolutely wide open. But is that enough for Keekly to go up to his 96 overall? I don't know about that, man. I feel like we're going to need a lot of, like, tackles or maybe another interception. Jair, play that. I think I need a little bit more. I think I need a little bit more, maybe like a pick or, you know, a sack or something big there. We'll see what we can get here as we get a sack. Let's go. All right, so we got a sack. If we manage a second sack, then yes, we are going to get another pack. I literally saw it. I saw where he was going. I knew where he was going to go with that ball, but just cannot make it over there. Very unfortunate. But we do have the ball now. We're down by one point. Don't ask how we got six points. It is uh, irrelevant information. <sighs> that could have been bad. Yeah, we have six points right now. So let's see what we can do here. Got to move the ball down the field and at least get three points on this drive. All right, a minute and 16 seconds left here, and he did just actually run into Vernon Davis, so this is basically a free play. I should have chucked it deep. Okay, third down and 11 coming up. This is absolutely worst case right here. Absolute worst case, and I'm gonna take off. We have Jalen Hurts. We can pick up a lot of rushing yards. Do not fumble. Thank you, Jalen Hurts, for not fumbling. That would have been just the worst thing possible right there, as we do have Bijan open in the flats. I wanted to get out of bounds. All right, that one's on me. I wanted to get out of bounds there, and I stayed in bounds. That was really, really bad here. As going to look to go to Jefferson over the middle of the field. Jefferson wide open, getting out. All right, and now down to the 17 here. I'm once again, of course, going to look for Jefferson first, which he is not open. Again, just going to take off here with Jalen Hurts. Let's get out. All right, with seven seconds left here, I really don't have much of an option. I've basically got to try to quick fire something in here, and Vernon is open. Shout out to Vernon Davis. Thank you very, very much. Going for two here. Might throw this out to Jefferson. Yep, we're going to do it. Jefferson, worst animation you could have possibly gotten there. Yes! Oh my god, we got that! Guys, that is now gonna put us at eight packs, and we just got a fumble on the kickoff. I really didn't think I'd be able to get that. So lucky. Unfortunately, though, I just can't seem to run on this guy. Like, I don't know what it is, but I literally cannot run the football. So, uh, the challenges for today, you know, both of them included having a 100-yard rusher. Doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Because at this point, I think Jalen Hurts is actually our leading rusher. Third down and four, though. We're gonna try to run a read option here. And again, that did not work out. All right, in fourth and six, I know I could take three, make this a point game, but we've gotta get these packs, man. We gotta try to get these packs for pack and play. Zay Flowers, easy. 
Thank you. Thank you very, very much, Zay Flowers. First and 10 coming up here. I was gonna go to Jefferson, but he actually got covered up for a moment. We'll go to Bijan. Now, if we can manage to score a touchdown here, I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling really, really good about this. So let's see if we can. Gonna throw it out to Addison. Jefferson, why did you not block him? Doesn't matter. Thank you for the TD. All right, so we're up by 12. Obviously, my opponent's gonna have to come out here and throw the football quite a bit. If we can get a pick with Keekly. He's getting his upgrade. Also, though, in general, Keekly did have that scoop and score. So, like, if I'm going to get, like, a, I don't know, a lot of tackles or something, maybe, you guys let me know what you think. But down to the 27-yard line already, that is not good for us, as he's going to try to take off. Really? I really just let him evade me like that. I mean, that's just bad, man. That's just all around bad. Everything's pretty much covered, though. And I also have a QB spy. I don't think he's going to try to do anything crazy. I'm going to send the spy at him. Now he's probably going to try to take off, maybe? Dude, he's got like 27 years in the pocket. Come on. Thank you. Ed Reed with the interception. That was just absolutely ridiculous. Now, unfortunately, again, Ed Reed, as of this very second that I'm recording this video, guys, doesn't have a potential upgrade. And again, extremely unfortunate that the one time that I get a challenge that doesn't seem that bad, uh, we just cannot run the football. Like, look at this. Eight rushes, three yards of Bijan. That's never happened. That's the one thing we've always been able to do on the pack and play team. Somehow, some way, luckily, is, you know, actually run with Bijan Robinson. Today, not the case. Now, unfortunately, my opponent did play some pretty good defense. So, we're going to get the ball right back to him. But we did take, I think, a couple of minutes off the clock there. So, three and a half minutes. We are still up by 12 points. If we can manage to just get another stop. This is pretty much GG. So let's try to do exactly that. And with three minutes left, uh, everything's pretty much covered. Everything is pretty much covered here unless he reroutes somebody and they magically get open, which is a possibility here. Okay, let's send the spy because once again, this guy is like, look how much time in the pocket this guy has. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy how long he's having in the pocket right now. Also, I will say though, I uh, may or may not have been pass rushing two people on those two plays. Oh? Oh? Addison? No way! Oh, come on. We're really gonna get tired here. Do not fumble. We actually just had a monster kick return right there. Exactly what we needed. We are now in field goal range, and with two minutes left, we just have to hold the ball for a little bit here. I'll take my three points, give him the ball back. Although, obviously, I would like to uh, just end the game out here and get a first down, but we'll see what we can do, as here I'm gonna try to run it. Yeah, that, that did not work out at all. All right, now on third down and 16, I don't wanna give him the ball back. I wanna end the game right here, and we're gonna do so with Jerry Rice. I really should have just went down immediately. So that right there is going to help us tremendously towards putting this game away. Now, with a minute and 30 seconds left, he does still have two timeouts so we're gonna take as much time off the clock as we possibly can i do have ball carrier on conservative that's like our best run of the day with Bijan. all right second and goal of course once again we're just gonna run the football here Bijan picks up three. Third down and goal no timeouts left obviously once again we are going to run the football take my three points my opponent is going to get one last drive to try to do something here he's gonna have about 40 seconds left after the kickoff all right 40 seconds left the biggest thing is just keeping him in bounds all right we have to keep him in bounds here so that way the clock will just keep running but obviously he's gonna try to go deep on me you would expect that gonna send some pressure at him hit him now i'm gonna put up a qb contain here second down coming up obviously the downs at this point don't really matter too much no that could have been our keekly pick that we needed he stayed in bounds that could have been the luke keekly pick that we needed right there but 15 seconds left here i'll give him basically anything over the middle of the field because at this point it's gonna be game over and he's looking to chug it deep yep he's got he's just got to throw it okay uh didn't want to do that dropped it and with eight seconds left here i'm at this point just going to run qb contains and prevent because yeah you can get out of bounds here one final play final play of the game can we get some pass rush generated can we get an interception something to really close out this game but overall we end up winning this this is a pretty good episode we didn't complete the challenges but we did get a lot of packs here which is going to help the team out quite a bit i would love to end this off with a luke keekly interception no way no way i literally could not draw that up any better luke keek pick six please yes luke keekly do not calvin no i don't care he's getting his upgrade luke keekly guys had two tackles an interception a forced fumble a fumble recovery 
and also the touchdown. So the touchdown, I didn't know he also forced the fumble. I did not know that. Fumble recovery, forced fumble, touchdown, an interception and two tackles. That right there just turned his 96 overall. That is massive. Well, in total, guys, from that episode, we got 11 total packs, then one more for winning the game. So 12 total packs big all right so as i said i'm recording this on wednesday but i'm going to open up the packs here on thursday or friday uh so that way we will have you know the team of the year step everything out but we're gonna do our strategy card real quick and i'll probably wait until then as well to pick up keekly because let me see exactly how much he is he'll probably be a little bit cheaper here on thursday with team of the year and yeah he's 900k I'll wait until Thursday, but yeah, he earned his upgrade, and we also have 12 packs to get into. That includes six playmakers and two special packs. This is going to be a big episode. All right, so it's now Friday. I am back now, and we're going to get into these special packs. So we are going to be doing six uh, playmaker packs here, which if we go to, I think it's the beginning, right? Beginning offers. We have six playmakers. We have 12 total packs to get into, so we have six playmaker packs to do. Then we have two special packs as well. So... This should be pretty good. This is 90 overall right here. Most feared. Already know that. Cooper Cup. Uh, probably not going to use him on the team, but good training points. So that was Playmaker Pack number one. Getting into Playmaker Pack number two. We get 88 overall. Terrell Suggs. Mason Cole. Okay. Uh, we have a Terrell Suggs on the team, right? I think we have full legend Terrell Suggs, I'm pretty sure. Playmaker Pack number three. Redux. Brian Branch. Okay. Uh, we get 86 overall and an 80. Can we use this Brian Branch? I feel like we can. 93 speed. Okay. Here's the thing. Long term, Ronnie Lott's better because Ronnie Lott right now has like a better card in the game. But Brian Branch right now would be so big to have down there in the box as a user. One more speed, way better Excel, better tackler, uh, better man coverage, although they both have over 90. Hit power's higher. I think the block shed's even higher. We'll, we'll take a look at that. Three more playmaker packs to get into here, and then we will get into the two special packs as well. By the way, there is no actual like regular team of the year packs, which I thought maybe we would get regular team of the year packs. That is not the case, as you guys are very aware by the time you guys are watching this video here. So we're probably going to do like elite player packs. It's probably what we'll do for our special offer or our special packs here. As you get 80 overall Travis EDN, we get 89 Troy Hill. It was kind of for a bigger card right there, but this is going to help us get us a lot of training points. We're going to use the training points on something of our choice. You get 81 angry runs. Cordero Patterson. Now, trust me, we're not getting rid of Bijan. But that's a lot of training. All right, and now we have two special packs to get into. And I want to do Star Elites. These give you 86 pluses and a 90 plus as well. So let's get into this. We're going to do two Star Elite packs. We're doing these for, you know, our five uh, pack intervals here. Since we got 12 packs, we get two of those. And we get a 90 overall Michael Wilson. All right, again, I don't think we're going to use that. But we will take the, take the uh, training points there. And the final Star Elite pack. And then we're going to go take a look at everything. See what we can do. We get a 79, we get a 91 Xavier Howard and a 91 Drew Tranquil. That's both pretty big, honestly. Now, Xavier Howard, we have some pretty good corners, but I need another middle linebacker. So, Xavier Howard, uh, probably not going to use him again. We'll take the training points. However, we literally do not have another legitimate middle linebacker on the team right now. So, Tranquil, 90 speed, not that great of coverage man it's tough all right so quick on all the cards we're not going to be using guys i'm not going to use drew tranquil we have marquise bell who is a smaller middle linebacker but he's actually a little bit faster and because of the recent update where they actually took away the fatigue penalty i think we'll be okay for now but we are getting a lot of training points and then also i did take a longer look here at brian branch and yeah because of his block shed compared to ronnie lott also, Ronnie Lott having a current upgrade over his card. We just need a good week with Lott to get a big upgrade. And as I did say, guys, I was going to wait to get Luke Keekley. And yeah, unfortunately, he still really did not come down in price much. And I could probably wait even longer, like until the next episode, which I think is what I'm going to do. We will pick up Keekley, but I don't record pack and play until like Wednesday, Thursday-ish of every single week. So I'm going to hope 
that Keekly comes down from a million coins in the next couple of days here. I think he will a little bit, but we will pick him up before the next episode, I promise you. With that being said, though, guys, we have 133,000 training points, so we definitely have a lot of things we could do. We could do mystery packs, we could do some combine 86 pluses, but we have a ton of training points here, so let's get into it. We have a lot of training points. We better get an upgrade out of this as we do get a Genki Force Elite Pack right here. We get a 93 D-Law. Okay, I don't know if we can use that. Uh, 86 overall, Jonathan Hankins. Probably not going to use those three. D-Law. Is Demarcus Lawrence an upgrade over... I know we have Javon Kurz, but he's not actually starting. He's not actually playing. All right, so I did look, and yeah, he's not going to make the team, but I think we might make a long-term play here because, as I've told you guys before, pack and play, we can do sets, okay? We can. We are allowed to do sets. It's just a matter of us kind of holding on to cards to do sets, you can get a lot of 96 overalls with some 93s here. So, you know what? I think we're going to make kind of a long-term play here. And I think we're going to hold on to that Demarcus Lawrence for just a moment. Just a moment. We're going to hold on to him, and we'll see what we can do. But let's do a couple more packs here. We have a couple more missed packs to get into. I think I might want to do some uh, re-rolls as well, potentially. Let's get a 92 Jimmy G. Obviously, he's not making the team, so we'll quick sell him, get our 27,000 training points back. We just made like 500 training points off that pack, like 500 training points. Anything but a get a gold, I'm pretty happy. Pro Max Fantasy Pack, all right, that's a 75,000 coin pack, so this is actually pretty good value here. We get a 86 Matt Breda, 84 Quinton, 85 MJD, and 89 overall. All right, we'll take that. Round number two, a 92 again, a Redux, hold on. Come on, man. EA, don't do that, man. Don't do that. That could have so easily have been like a 95 overall Redux. That would have been so, so big for the team. Let's do another uh, mystery pack here. Is we're actually making training points when we're doing these mystery packs right now. Next Pro Max Fantasy, though, we get an 88 Kenneth Walker, 90 Carlton, 88 Zay Flowers. Why do you got to... No way you do this to me twice. No shot. They, they really did it twice 88 zay flowers and 88 deandre swift is insane round two 89 devin lloyd and we get another 89 overall all right that's kind of nasty work i can't lie kind of kind of nasty work from ea uh but that right there is 25,000 training points so almost made our training points back off that one pro max fantasy pack star elites kind of doing pretty decent here that's literally the one thing i didn't want to see the only thing that i could not possibly get out of that pack and we got it we got a gold plus and we get another gold plus i'm gonna do some of those 86 plus combine players and we'll see if we can clutch out something big speaking of combine we get a combine pack right here not exactly what we want to see to be honest we get an 86 79 and an 86 combine packs have not been good and and like the combine re-roll as well has not been good for me which is why i kind of just want to do some more mystery packs we get a super bowl present pack maybe we get really lucky Maybe we get crazy lucky. We get a 79, 86, and an 89 overall, Randy Gregory. All right, we'll do one last mystery pack, and I want to do at least one 86-plus combine. But we got the Demarcus Lawrence. I know he's not starting on the team. He's not going to make the team today. But this is a pretty big episode in terms of upgrades with us getting that Luke Keekly. Uh, that is massive. Luke Keekly is absolutely massive for the team. So we will be picking him up in the next episode. Brian Branch could have potentially made the squad, could have potentially made the squad there. We get 90 overall, Nick Cross. He will also not make the team. Let's see if we can clutch out like a champion. Can we get super lucky and get like a champion or something like this? That'd be insane. Uh, we get a 90 overall, Jamari Saylor. I know that he's also not going to make the team. Now, we do have D-Law, so we'll hold on to him. And if we get a couple more 93s, then we can go ahead and do like a 96 overall player set. Pretty much anybody I want. So definitely a nice episode. I know we didn't make like a ton of upgrades, whatever, but Keekly as our user, as I said, I will pick him up at the start of the next episode. That is a massive, massive upgrade for the team to be able to get Luke Keekly out there, finally getting myself a legitimate great user card. Yeah, that's going to make a world of a difference. Uh, and then in terms of offense, I don't really think that we did anything to 
uh, earning potential upgrades over here, but we definitely played pretty good. We definitely played pretty good, and uh, now we're going to have an amazing, amazing user card. We have an inside stuff, and in the bank right now, we have that 93 overall D loss. So I got to remember that we have him, and if we pull a couple more 93s, we can do some sets. So with that being said, guys, hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you drop a like in the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. Leave me down below some good challenges to do in the next episode of Pack and Play. I'll catch you guys next Sunday. And if you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.